up. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah! And if you have never heard of kill zone, you probably the chances are that you have never, absolutely never heard of these films. And this was kind of like a strange film for me because I have had this on my Amazon show, wish list for like a. I think two years or something. And I have never even heard about no damn American Rampage or Danger USA films. But somehow, somehow I got this hunch that these are films that I need to see. And my hunch wasn't in error. No way, sir. Let's see what American Rampage is all about. And like you see, this massacre video release includes two action films, American Rampage and Danger USA. This was directed by David Decatu, and this was directed by Amos Dimitritius. This is completely unknown director to me, but I definitely need to see more Amos Dimitrius films if they are as awesome as, as this. <laughs> yeah. Two films and we even have some extras, a new American Ram Rampage audio commentary, didn't hear it, and rare American Rampage deleted scene, featuring a Scream Queen Linnie quickly. Okay, <laughs> in this American Rampage there's this female cop who is trying to find out who is this new player in the, in the Amer Los Angeles drug business and of course she loses her partner and gets an, another partner and then we get this usual bantering and <laughs> during the film when the film runs in the in the middle section she also re loses this new partner and she gets another partner so i have never even heard about the film that does that you know you get two partners <laughs> and basically it starts over i got a feeling that this actor just didn't want to be anymore in this film so they had to bring another guy in this film uh if you like films like Sa Samurai Cop or Dangerous Men, you're gonna absolutely um, love American Rampage. I mean, the action is very bad, the dialogue is horrible, <laughs> it's hilarious, but it's not boring. It's all constantly on the run, this film. And uh, <laughs> the actor is gonna be the worst actress <laughs> in, in cinema history. This. I was laughing so hard during this film and... Uh, it's incredible. It's incredible. I think nothing that I can say will do any justice on this film. You you just need to see it for yourself and maybe a clip. <laughs> So that was a great clip from American Rampage. You get the picture what kind of a film it is. So it's a crazy action film, very poor quality, but I really like the film uh, as as such as it is. I need to see more David De Couture's action films. I, I think I have only seen the exploitation films and the horror films, but I think this guy also can make a very kick-ass bad B-movie as well. As if this Ra America Rampage is at all like he usually does. And why does it even say American Rampage? I mean, why uh, why is this supposed to be American Rampage? There's nothing American in this Rampage. It's, it could happen in any country, <laughs> you know. And why is America in danger? I don't know. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Okay, and the next one, I, I thought that this cannot even go any crazier, but how wrong was I when I put this Danger USA 
I put that in my disc. I was like, what the hell is this shit, man? And yeah, let's show show you a clip. A pretty girl ain't no bulletproof vest. They just don't care, though. Absolutely, and that was only just one scene on this film, uh, of this film, only one scene, it gets a lot of crazier, and I think this film has the, one of the strangest opening scene I have ever seen, and that's saying a lot, the, we get to see this girl who is sleeping, and then this assassin guy comes to the room and starts to, look, 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 put, to put in the gun like a silencer, and then he steps on a cat and then the lady wakes up and then they fight and we learn that this lady is in fact sleeping in a moving moving uh, house <laughs> which is on a car on a truck so some for some reason she is sleeping uh, when they are moving he, her house and then she throws this guy uh, of the tr of the moving truck I don't understand what's uh, why 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 would you sleep in a house that is being moved? I don't I don't know. But turns out that this is only a movie, and then we get to we get to introduce our lead leading lady, who is a movie actor, and then we learn that she has a father who has invented this virtual reality device that can hack into people's mind, and this father has uh, vanished. And the father uh, is actually in this asylum, and they found it. Accidentally, find that this KGB agent finds it and shoots like a hundred times <laughs> this dad. And she gets the, she he tells to her sister, the other sister, that uh, yeah, I have the key, and the virtual reality de device is in my locker, which is where we used to put our moving things, so something like that. And basically, then after that, the KGB and everybody's after this key, <laughs> which leads to that. A locker which contains this virtual reality thing I'm <laughs> okay if, if the america america american rampage was a, like a <laughs> bad dialogue so this one really takes the cake and i was very confused that is it supposedly did they mean to make a very bad movie did, did they deliberately try to make this film very bad because sometimes it feels like that uh, you know it feels like sharknado bad but most of the time it i think it's genuinely just made poorly because it has some weird scenes like this clapping scene where you clap your hands the lights come on and they turn out when you clap it and then it, for some reason it's a big thing in that scene I don't, I don't think that even belongs in this movie, but this is just one of these things. And the killing scenes in this movie, they are absolutely crazy. <laughs> I mean, in the middle of... Uh, they are, these essences are supposed to kill these one, girls, and then they start to rape them. And then the lady taunts the rapist that, Hey, can't you even get it up, man? What's the wrong with you? What's wrong with you, tough guy? Can't you even get it up? <laughs> Who would say that when they're being raped? Who would say that? Who in the right mind would say that? <laughs> Sounds like a Mission Impossible 7. Let me assure you, this was a lot more entertaining package as whole. Than Mission Impossible 7. And when you think about it, I think it's almost the same duration than Mission 
impossible part se uh, part seven dead reckoning and gotta tell you it's lots lots and lots of lots of more entertaining than mission impossible lots of what the fuck scenes okay i gotta tell you okay this dad which we show in the clip that got shot like hundred times this dad is in the asylum and he hears her daughter's vo his daughter's voice and the voice is coming out of the television where the, we see another weird clip from this lady's films where she runs away this archer guy who shoots an arrow through her chest in that film and then the go father goes hey my, my daughter where are you oh it was just a television and then the other sister is there watching this film with this guy and says hey that's my wa father's voice so <sighs> I was like, are you serious? Are you really serious that you, you, you have seriously made this film? I don't know. I, it was fantastic. I will, bo for both of these films, uh, I gotta tell you that Danger USA, the things I told you, that I gotta tell you that it doesn't hold up for this crazy business for the whole duration. I think it goes a little bit stale during in the middle section of the film, but then it picks up and puts the crazy crazy gear in again and uh, oh my god, uh, then then it goes. But for both of these films, I would certainly give 4 stars and these would be an excellent double feature in some crazy movie festival, so, say something like Cinemadrome. The films to play in the midnight. I mean, I highly recommend this massacre video packaging for everybody. Idol, and once more, what is, what is called Danger USA? There's no point calling it Danger USA. These two could happen to any in any country as well, and uh, I don't think this poses any danger to USA when you really think about it. But maybe I am thinking too much in this <laughs> very <laughs> silly. Silly and crazy action films, and maybe, maybe I just let you watch it again. And if you, if somebody, you know, actually watches this, I would love to hear your comments on this film. These films, yeah. Action 